Hi and welcome to the YouTube channel of the Study in Hungary Centre in Pretoria. We are dedicated to give inside information for Southern African students who are interested in studying in Hungary. Um, we all know that universities have lots and lots of videos out there about their course offering, but instead I wanted to give you guys a glimpse into, into real life, the behind the scenes of how South African students feel and experience life as a student in Hungary. And today we're going to be talking to Dima Katso, a lovely lady who is studying at the University of Saged. And she's going to give you her impressions of the city, the university and Hungary. Just a quick background about the University of Saged. It has a history dating back to 1581 and it's located in one of the sunniest cities of Hungary. It attracts thousands of young people every year due to its lively urban student life. It has lots of colorful festivals and, of course, a very safe environment. The university itself is a research university. It has an outstanding achievement um, with regards to several fields of research. It has about 700 research areas at 19 doctoral schools, so that's that's quite impressive. The current student body is about 22,000. It's, it's a bit smaller than the University of Stellenbosch, if you want to compare it to a South African one. And um, about 5,000 of these 22,000 are international students, and they come from over 140 countries. And I'm happy to say now... Um, from South Africa as well. And uh, these international students have a variety of fields and courses to choose from, all the way from medicine, dentistry and pharma, engineering, social studies, IT law, business economics, and they're all taught in English language or other non-Hungarian languages, depending on your preference. I'd like to show you guys a very short video that I think really gives back the look and feel of the university and the town and um, and the vibe of Saged. So enjoy and then we'll get right to the interview with Dimakato. First impressions are always important. When you first catch a glimpse of the silhouette of a city, the first time you walk in the streets and sense the pulsating atmosphere. When you feel for the first time that you have found a beautiful new home. Seged, the place where the city merges with the university, where your talent can unfold, where you can learn from the best, where you can lay the foundation for your success where you can make new friends and build your contacts. Where you can be free and independent. Where you never get bored. something to love all your life? Be part of the largest community of Seged. So Dima Katso, thank you very much for talking to us today. Let me start by asking you about some of the interesting and surprising things that you experienced in Seged. Uh, university, I'm, I'm currently studying in the University of Seged and it's 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 a it's most full of old people and we don't have a lot of youth league here or a lot of kids and they still love culture they still value culture and one of the things that's fantastic that stood up since I've been here is the fact that whenever I'm in the in the bus and an old person gets in I need to stand up and provide a seat for the old person but when I got here first I didn't know I just seated innocently so. And when the elder person came in, everyone was standing up, all the youth league was standing up and then I was the only one sitting down. But I got a message of saying, hey, you need to stand up and all person is getting in. Uh, this person may need a chair. And then, yeah, that's, that's one thing that I like about it. But it is cold, I must say. <laughs> I arrived here around September. I think around that time, it was the season was already not 
uh, too good. It was still windy and cold. So I think they were approaching uh, winter. So I've never experienced summer, but apparently summer is very hot. What was your impression of the youth in the city? I think one thing I like about the youth studies is that they are open-minded. Uh, mm-hmm. They're looking forward to learn about everyone's culture. Like when I got there, they asked me, where are you from? What's happening in your country? What kind of food do you eat? In most cases, you can meet them in the restaurant. You can meet them in a pub, in the park. So you don't have a specific place where you can meet someone and have a talk about, like have a chat about anything. Um, on my side, I normally meet youth league in the library and I'm a, very, I'm a very friendly person. So whenever I meet them, I will go and say, hi, um, I'm Dimakadze and what's your name? And then we'll start to exchange there and say, oh, okay, I'm from Hungary or I'm from Azerbaijan or wherever the person is from. And then that's when we start to have friendships. And some other time we go out for the coffee and then you, you, you learn other people's religion and culture. That's how we manage to exchange like information. So we don't have like a proper platform whereby you can say you will meet the youth. However, we still have like groups, like people from South Africa, groups from people who are stipendium uh, receiver, all of them. And we also have groups where they post like Hungarian opportunities. So that's where again, you can meet your other youth league people and then you can have conversation and make new friends I, I really like to make new friends not only South Africans but to meet other people so that I can learn more about their culture and about their um, yeah I can say culture and religion. Dima Katsu is currently doing her master's in computer science so let's take a peek into the faculty of science and informatics. Have you already decided which career path to choose? Are you sure about your field of study? Or do you still have several options on the table? The University of Seged and its 12 faculties offer you a wide range of choices. Do you want to follow in the footsteps of the inventors of the COVID-19 vaccine? Why should you choose the Faculty of Science and Informatics at the University of Seged? because our 100-year-old tradition is a guarantee of excellent teaching and internationally recognized research, including links to the Nobel Prize-winning biochemist Albert Sengyörgyi, who received the Nobel Prize for extracting vitamin C from Seged pepper. The faculty is the largest at the University of Seged, The institution also has a strong reputation for industry collaboration and innovation. And the University of Seged is one of the founding members of the ELI Research Center, one of the most advanced laser research institutes in Europe. We believe you should apply if you have an undergraduate degree and are interested in a modern introduction to numerous branches of applied mathematics and physics, or a four-semester biology master's program specialized in molecular biology, immunology, and microbiology, which prepares our students to understand and appreciate the latest developments in one of the fastest-growing fields in modern biology, or chemistry, which is an all-rounder at the University of Seged, offers advanced, up-to-date knowledge, and provides research facilities with state-of-the-art instrumentation or not only using, but also developing and shaping the technology of the future in IT. Or geography, collecting and analyzing environmental and social data linked to regional and global processes, such as climate change, landscape degradation, spatial disparities, population concentration or urbanization, or sustainable development. Graduates of the faculty have a wide range of career opportunities. Positions in applied analysis, industrial mathematics, and financial mathematics. Research positions at universities or in the pharmaceutical or agricultural industries. In IT, in such areas as software development, artificial intelligence, computer science, and image processing and optimization. There are various scholarship opportunities to assist applicants from all corners of the world. The STE START Scholarship 
and the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship. Are you ready to be next? Apply to the University of Szeged. Your future, our mission. So Dima Katso, as a computer science master's student, what is your opinion about your classes and the lectures at the University of Szeged? Um, in my class, there's no like, you know, in South Africa, you will be like 300 in one class. Mm. <laughs> and here there's only like six of us in the class. And with that being said, it allows a lecture to see who understand the concept, who doesn't understand and who need more attention, you know, uh, which is which is an advantage again. And my lecturers are very flexible, I must say. Um, let's say I can't attend the class. It's easy for me just to send a message to say, hey, I'm not feeling too good today. I'm not going to be able to attend the class. Could I please have a record for the class? Uh, they are open-minded. They can do that and provide it to me. But of course, it's not, it's, it's not going to be something that happens every day. Let's say I can't attend the class every day. Mm. And if we don't, they're open to debates. That's what I like. In the class, we can spend 30 minutes debating about something in technology and they won't have that concept of saying that I'm a lecturer, I'm always right. They're open-minded, they're open to learn. And we will spend so much time debating there. And uh, if you have any, any questions regarding to your academics and all those things, there we have facilitators where you can just send the facilitator an email of saying that I have an emergency, I'm not gonna be able to attend my classes for the whole week. Um, how can I go about it to make sure that I don't, I don't miss the whole thing, you know, because they can provide you with their videos and make sure that you're up to standard when you come back to wherever you are going. And yeah, most of my lectures are very, very flexible. Of course, we respect time and respect one another. I think most of the important thing here in Hungary, it's time. Um, it's better for you to say that I will be late than you just being late and you're gonna distract the class, you know? Uh, it's good when you're, when you're running late, just call one of your fellow classmates and say, can you please tell the lecture that I'm running late? Uh, in the next 10 minutes, I'll be there. So we are expecting to be, dist- we are expecting you to come and of course we'll be distracted when you get to the class. Other, rather than someone just opening the door out of nowhere and the class gets distracted. So time management is very, very important also here. Yes, you're right. Time management is very important in Hungary. So that's excellent advice. Tell me, do you feel that as an international student, you get all the information and support that you need at the university? Yeah, we, there's a lot of support actually from the university. Um, I actually like the fact that we have mentorships. Before you can even come here, you will know your mentor and that person will be the one responsible to show you where you, you do your residence permit, where you do all your documentation that needs to be done when you get here. And we have groups. In most cases, uh, I, I, I joined most of my groups while I was still in South Africa. Um, that's where we try to ask questions about, let's say they want medical certificate, because uh, that was the most uh, confusing thing that made me to realize that this group are very, very essential. Hmm. So then, yeah, we have those groups. And even on Facebook, I think we have a lot of groups, stipendium groups, newcomers, people who have been there already and people who already left are nice. They also stay in the group and assist when you need help in terms of residence. If you don't, if you're not staying in the dorm, if you want to stay outside, they, they are also there to assist you. And they have international office also. And through your application, when everything is finalized, I think you will receive a uh, an email from the facilitator to introduce him or herself. And whenever you need help, who can you contact? And if you need help according, uh, regarding your accommodation, who can you contact? So you get those all information before you can even arrive here. That's an excellent point, Dimakatsu, to build your network well ahead of time. So when you arrive, you already have all these important connections at your disposal. Thanks for that thought. Next, I'd like to find out what you do besides working towards your degree. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of opportunities for fun and leisure. What is your preference? Oh, I'm a sport person. I really, really love sports. And 
I try by all means to keep myself occupied by going to sports fields. It can be uh, soccer, it can be swimming, anything, anything sports related really makes me so happy. And one thing that I like about being in Europe is the fact that I can travel. So I really love adventure. I love going around Europe. Um, sometimes I join the, in, we have Erasmus, Erasmus group. Uh, they all they normally make the um, learning and traveling, you know, um, learning and traveling programs, learning mm -hmm. and traveling programs. So, in most cases, I will join that, and then I can go see other European countries while learning something. So that's what I that's what I do in most cases on my on my uh, free time. So I've been in Amsterdam and I've been in Paris. I've been in Frankfurt. And next week, I'll be going to Latvia. And have you had the chance to travel around Hungary as well? Yeah, I've been in Budapest because I'm, I stay in Zagat and I've been in Debrecen. So those are the two cities that I've been around. Dumakatso, coming into another country, another culture always has some challenges and it does require adapting as well. What were those things that you found that were very different to what you were accustomed to and to what you knew? in South Africa? Oh, number one, it's safety. You know, I'm used to have my things to me, to be vigilant whenever I walk, I need to check who's around me. And now when I got here, people are so relaxed. You, you can even watch your movies in the park. Look, in South Africa, I can't take my laptop and stay in the park and watch a movie. Like, I, I'll be wanting to lose my laptop. So when I saw people doing that, it took me some time to relax and be like, yeah, in Europe, they safety. no one will just come and take your laptop. No one will take your phone. Even when I'm going in street, I receive a call. I was not comfortable to take the call, but now I can take a call anytime. And even at night, people are still walking around, regardless of the gender. You know, in South Africa, if you're a male, you have a freedom to walk at night than a female. But here... <laughs> regardless of the gender you have um luxury to work to work anytime you want and that's one of the strange uh one of the things that i struggled to, to adjust and something strange was the food price oh yes food price and the past the the, the food parcels because i'm used to buy five kg rice or 10 kg rice and when I get here, there's no such. Just everything is very small. I think it's like 500 gram or one, uh, one kg. So mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, you need to buy more often. There's no end. So food prices are more uh, expensive in South Af in here than in South Africa. And traveling, it's more cheaper here than in South Africa. So, yeah, and when I got here, as I said, I was expecting to buy myself 12,5 of maize meal and rice, and I know that I'm sorted for the whole six months. But in this instance, it's not like that. I think I do my grocery shopping twice in a month because mm -hmm. everything gets finished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how, how can you travel? You said traveling is cheaper. Do you use public transport? Do you bike? Do you walk? Um, what's your oh. main way of being around yeah i really like the transport system again i forgot to mention that the transport system here it's very very reliable and very cheap um i when i'm going to campus i normally use the bus and some other peers of mine they take a bike they own the bikes and whenever i go outside of circuits outside of hungary i normally fly and when I go outside of Seged, I normally take a train. Uh, in most cases, train is good because you can you can look around the city, you pass certain places, take pictures, and of course, when you go out of out of uh, Hungary, you need to take a flight. But in most cases, people still do take trains, exchange somewhere, and get a moment to take a picture, and then continue again with the journey. So myself, I know I prefer to take flights when I go outside of uh, Hungary. But when I'm around, I normally take the train and the bus because mm -hmm. they are the most cheapest. When it comes to accommodation at the university, students usually have um, two choices, a dorm and private accommodation. What is your opinion of these? 
I think DOM, it's the safest option that they can choose because remember that you're coming from South Africa. You don't know anyone here. You still need to pay. Let's say you're looking for a private accommodation. You need to pay two months deposit. And then it's, it's a lot of financial financial issues. So DOM is the safest um, option. However, it's not like South Africa. South Africa, we have, I can say luxury DOM, <laughs> luxury dormitories. Uh, it's not too luxury. But at the same time, you don't have to stress about utilities, paying gas, paying electricity, um, all those things. You don't need to be stressed about water. It's uh, it's not your responsibility to just pay your rent. And you need to be prepared to stay with three or two people if you're not doing your PhD. <laughs> so that's one thing that it was like a shock to me because in South Africa, the maximum you can stay with is two people in the room. But here... I'm sharing a room with three people. If you're doing your master's or your, or your bachelor, you will share with two or three people. But if you're doing a PhD, you will get your room separately. Do you have any other cool tips for us? One thing that you may think about is language barrier. Look, we have things like Google Translate. Make the use of technology as much as you can. If you go to the shop, they don't understand, write whatever that you want on your Google Translate, give it to them. Um, prepare yourself mentally and emotionally by so saying, try to learn your people skills. How do you approach someone if you don't understand something? How do you try to make a conversation with someone, even though you guys are not talking the same language? There's mm. a certain way that you can grab this person's attention and you guys can communicate using Google Translator as a bridge between you guys. And uh, what can I say again is the fact that it's a very good opportunity because it takes you out of your comfort zone. You meet people from different environments, different countries and different perspective of life. They don't look at life the way you look at life. You know, they don't value the things that you value. And it allows you to start to weigh things that you value and say, do I really, really need to value this? And what can I do to be a better person? And it also opened the door. As I said, we have, they have Erasmus, Erasmus project they will take you to do some project. Like, like now, uh, next week we'll be doing down with an, with unemployment rate. And you know that in South Africa, we have a problem with unemployment rate. So as soon as you get these skills of knowing better about how can we fight unemployment rate, when you go back to your home country, you can make a big impact regarding the things, regarding the socioeconomic problems. So if you get an opportunity to be here, to study in Hungary, I really, really agree with you. you. Just do it. Don't mm-hmm. even think twice. Yeah. I think studying in Hungary is the most advantageous thing because look, I'm in Europe. So it doesn't mean that just because I'm studying in Hungary, I will be in the corner of Hungary every time, every day. No, it allows you to go and see what other people are doing outside of Hungary. That's number one advantage. And even when you're studying in University of Seged, there's some a project where you can see what other people are doing in Budapest, where you can see what other people are doing in Debrecy. So it's not orientated like South Africa, where we say you are studying in, in this university, then stay in this university. Hmm. You have a luxury to go out and find out what are you guys doing differently that we're doing here. Mm-hmm. So... I, uh, it's, it's a very good place to study at. I can say I would recommend you to come study in Hungary. So if you are working already like me, before I came here, I was working, so I had some savings. So I used my savings. So it's good for me. I don't need to work. But if you are not working, you're fresh from, the, you know, uh, from high school, I will advise you when you get here, try to get like a part-time job so that you can also enjoy the experience of living in Europe, not just an experience of being a student. What comes to mind when you think about Hungarian cities, their landscape, and in general, the architecture? They have statues everywhere and every statue have a history behind it. Hmm. And uh, even if you don't know, you can go there, take a picture and use it on Google search to find what's, what's behind the picture. So I really like that. And one of the most amazing places that I've went to was Parliament. Mm. So I've learned that uh, in Budapest Parliament, there must not be any building 
that is greater or higher than parliament, <laughs> you know? And when you are there at the top of parliament, you can basically see the whole with the best there. So those are the things that I really, really enjoyed. And such things in South Africa we do have, but here they are very serious and people do take it uh, very serious. Like in the weekends, you will see family going to learn about a certain statue and there will be someone there giving us the lesson about what happened, what's happened with Queen Elizabeth, all those kind of things. So I really, really like that. I do like that. And I do go around weekends. I do go around and learn about the statues and the buildings and all those things. It's not, it's not a flat, it's not the same as South Africa, mm. I must say. Yes. What's your opinion of Hungarian people? Youth League, they are very, they are very good. They are very open-minded, as I said. Youth League, they are loving and, but they are not like South Africans. You know, in South Africa, you can go around smiling, and someone will smile at you back. Here, it's, you can't do that. When you smile, it's something awkward. Like, why are you smiling? You don't even know me, you know. But in South Africa, it's the way of saying that I see you, I appreciate you. But mm. here, it's not the same culture of saying I see you and I appreciate you. You can. You just close your mouth and walk. Uh, and old people, I think it's because of not being exposed. Uh, some of them, they will look at you. Some of them, they will look at you and smile. And ask them, you, you, don't, you don't know what they're thinking. You will ask yourself, what is she thinking or what he's thinking? But in most cases, the youth league, I think they're the most um, open-minded people. And they're cool. You can talk to them anytime and have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. Have you tasted any famous Hungarian dishes? What were they like? Uh, I have tasted two dishes, uh, Hungarian dishes. One was Kuliash and it was good, but I was very amazed about the time you spent there because they spend hours preparing Kuliash and I'm like, but why so many hours <laughs> preparing Kuliash? Uh, it's good. I really love beef uh, and here yeah, beef is quite expensive mm. than in South Africa yeah. and the taste the taste is not the same I think the atmosphere has to do with all those things the taste is not the same but I really prefer beef here. Yeah. Do you have anything more for us about having fun as a student in Hungary? Oh yeah with with partying we may think that they have their own way of partying but really they get uh they get to be excited when they hear our music in the party. Like I'm a piano, we have I'm a piano and every everyone it's all about crazy about I'm a piano. And when we're in the party, they were like, let's play I'm a piano. Those sounds, they, they make them so happy, you know. Uh, as they say, music is one language that everyone can understand. Yeah. So yeah, they, I'm a piano here, guys. And in most cases, would have has the number piano or number one. And you get everyone from all this world, Chinese, Nigeria. But when I'm a piano plays, everyone stand up and dance for I'm a piano. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, wow. yeah. Yes, they like yeah, the, a, the African vibes, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a piano. I'm a piano doing something else in Hungary. <laughs> Is it? It's like the ambassador of South African music. Yeah, but I can yes. understand that. I mean, it's a really very happy vibe and nice tunes and danceable music. So I'm not surprised yes. at all that, that it's very popular. And where did you try yes. that Ama Piano thing? In, in the clubs or the yeah. university dorms? Have you been to clubs? Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in clubs. I've been in clubs. In the clubs, we tried it. And look, people were dancing for my piano. And even in the dorm here, my roommates, when I play my Piano song, everyone will be dancing and want me to teach them the moves that I don't even know sometimes <laughs> and, uh, that's yeah both in the club and in the dub look I'm a, when when I play my piano yeah they rhyme they go with it it's, oh, a, wow. it's a good music yes in, in the pubs uh, we have like few South African DJs you know people who can DJ back from home hmm. and when they play my piano they everyone just gets so excited and dance so we leave the ama piano dance floor with the makatsu for now 
A big thank you to her for her honest opinion about her life in Hungary, um, her studies at the University of Szeged. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please hit the subscribe button so I can keep on making informative videos about South African student experiences in Hungary. If you would like more information on what fee-paying courses the University of Szeged has to offer, especially in the fields of medicine, dentistry, nursing, pharma or pre-med or any other field basically that you are interested in, give me a shout. I'm here to help you. Thanks for watching.